This is Pat O'Reilly with the O'Reilly Home Team and Remax DFW Associates. If you want updates on the market, if you want to learn how to buy a house or how, what the process is of buying a house, then give me a call. We can get this started. The market has slowed down a little bit. It's a better time for buyers to get involved. But right now, I want to talk to you about sellers and updating your home, getting your home ready, whether you're going to be doing it anytime soon or whether it's six months, a year, a year and a half away. Here are some current trends on caretaking and home improvement. If, if you uh, have one that you don't see on this video that's important to you, that you've done, that uh, I can share with my community, please give me a call because I'd love to do that. Number one, let's start outside. Recently, I was walking around, driving around the community, and one thing that stood out to me is uh, stone paths. Now, they can it can be to your front door. It could be around to the garden. It could be to a blank wall. No, it can't be to a blank wall because that'd be weird. All right, but, it, but it's something that can add color. It can uh, make your home distinctive uh, compared to the other homes in the neighborhood. It doesn't cost a whole lot, and it could be fun putting in. Okay, tip number two, let's walk up to your front door. This is an inside-outside deal. Your front door, there's a, there's a trend right now where people are adding steel doors, if you can afford it, to their front door. It adds security and just gives you a wow uh, a spot. If not, then just look at your front door, paint it. There's a lot of trendy colors right now that can make your home pop. Another one, here's a huge point that could be inside, outside, and it's about accessibility. As the population gets older, uh, you might consider whether you're part of that older population, maybe someday you will be. I'll put some helpful links at the bottom of this video where you can go in and check out the uh, accessibilities. I'm not saying about putting lifts in, escalators, elevators, all that stuff, but just to make it more accessible. A fourth one includes improvements on the inside. Some people always want kitchen storage. So I would look at every nook, every corner of your kitchen to see if you could put some shelving there. There's some great inexpensive shelving that you can put in, whether it's an open door and you just put um, nice glassware, or if it's closed, something to add some storage to your kitchen. After you've done that, let's look down to the floors. Can you do a project to upgrade your flooring? May, whether it's just, if you have a wood flooring right now, just sand it, restain it. I know it's a pain, but it can add a lot of dollars and a lot of enjoyment to you. So show some love up and down, because this is something that future buyers are gonna comment on. Trust me on that one. Okay, a final suggestion as I end these improvement tips. Let's talk about programmable thermostats. Just be mindful of how much you do. I wouldn't do go overboard because a lot of people have strong preferences about this, but it does add value to your home. Some buyers might be loyal to a specific thermostat or door ringer security. So when you upgrade here, don't go overboard. So make an improvement, but with room, if someone wants to change that, it's easily done. So there you go, community. A few tips on how to improve your property. Again, if you have one that you really love, that you've used, let me know. I'd love to share it with my community. But until then, I'll be out and about looking for more ways to add value to you guys.